ever pondered how complex life forms evolved over time and the role organelles played in this grand scheme? Our world is a diverse tapestry of life, a beautiful mosaic of organisms, each with its own unique cellular composition. The key to this complexity lies in the heart of the cells, in the organelles. These microscopic powerhouses perform a variety of tasks that keep cells functioning and, by extension, life evolving. And yet there's so much we're still uncovering about their origins and how they contribute to life's intricate web. One such discovery is the nitroplast, a newcomer in the realm of organelles. This intriguing addition to our cellular biology knowledge offers a fresh perspective on a process known as primary endosymbiosis, a game-changing event in the evolution of complex life forms. Let's dive into the fascinating world of primary endosymbiosis and discover the birth of the nitroplast. Primary endosymbiosis, a significant event in the evolution of life on Earth, is where the story of the nitroplast begins. This fascinating process is akin to a biological game of hide-and-seek where one cell engulfs another. But instead of digestion, the smaller cell is kept alive, protected and integrated into the larger cell's inner workings. In this case, a eukaryotic algal cell, the gobbler, engulfs a prokaryotic bacterial cell, the gobbly. Now this isn't a one-sided affair. Both parties bring something to the table. The eukaryotic algal cell provides a safe haven and resources for the engulfed prokaryotic bacterial cell. In return, the bacterial cell contributes its unique abilities to the algal cell like a biological superpower transfer. But how does this lead to the evolution of complex life forms, you ask? Well, the engulfed cell doesn't just float around aimlessly. It morphs and adapts, becoming an integral part of the host cell. It transforms into an organelle, a little organ, if you will, that performs specific functions within the cell. The host cell, now with its new organ, is more equipped to perform complex tasks, thus evolving into a more sophisticated life form. But what's even more fascinating is that these new organelles can replicate just like the host cell. They're passed on from generation to generation, becoming an inherent part of the cell's identity. It's like a gift that keeps on giving, driving the evolution of life on Earth from simple organisms to the diverse and complex life forms we see today. This process of primary endosymbiosis is the foundation upon which the complexity of life is built. It's the biological equivalent of a game-changer, setting the stage for the evolution of our planet's rich biodiversity. And so, from this remarkable process, a new organelle was born, the nitroplast. In 1998, a new player entered the cellular stage, the nitroplast, a unique organelle with intriguing capabilities. In the bustling city of our cells amidst familiar faces like the mitochondria and chloroplasts, a fresh and enigmatic character emerged, ready to take on a significant role in the narrative of life. The discovery of the nitroplast was nothing short of a scientific breakthrough. It's like stumbling upon an undiscovered room in your house a room that has been there all along, subtly contributing to the overall functionality of your home. The nitroplast, this newfound room in the cellular world, was identified through meticulous research and observation. It was found to be capable of drawing nitrogen from the atmosphere, a talent that sets it apart in the cellular community. But the nitroplast doesn't just sit idly, basking in its unique ability. No, it's an active participant in the cellular processes. It replicates just like other organelles, passing on its nitrogen-drawing capabilities to the next generation of cells. This replication process is a testament to its integral role in cellular function and survival. The nitroplast shares a striking resemblance with its cellular siblings, the mitochondria and chloroplasts. Just like them, it depends on its host cell for survival, forming a symbiotic relationship that is pivotal for the continuation of life. This remarkable similarity provides a fascinating glimpse into the evolution of organelles and the intricate interdependence that shapes the life within our cells. The nitroplast, like an unsung hero, solidified its status as a crucial component of cell machinery. As we continue to explore the cellular cosmos, the nitroplast stands as a reminder of the untapped mysteries that lie within the microscopic world, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. So, what makes the nitroplast so special, you ask? Well, let's dive right into it. Nitroplast, this remarkable newcomer to the cellular scene, has a unique and rather fascinating capability. It can draw nitrogen directly from the atmosphere. 
Now, that might not sound like much of a party trick at first, but let's put it into perspective. Nitrogen is a vital component of amino acids, proteins, and DNA, the very stuff of life itself. And yet, despite making up nearly four-fifths of our atmosphere, nitrogen in its gaseous form is largely inaccessible to most organisms. Enter the nitroplast. Like a cellular magician, it pulls nitrogen right out of thin air, so to speak, and makes it available for the cell's use. This is not just a neat trick, it's a game changer. It means that an organism equipped with nitroplast can survive and thrive in environments where others might struggle. But the significance of the nitroplast doesn't stop there. It also offers an intriguing glimpse into the evolution of life itself. Just as mitochondria and chloroplasts are thought to have originated from ancient bacteria engulfed by other cells, so too does the nitroplast appear to have been born from a similar act of cellular cannibalism. This process, known as primary endosymbiosis, is a key driver of complexity and diversity in the biological world, and the nitroplast fits right into this narrative. Identified in 1998, it replicates and is inherited just like other organelles, solidifying its status as a crucial component of the cellular machinery. It's a reminder that life is not static, but dynamic and ever-evolving, constantly finding new ways to adapt, survive and thrive. The nitroplast indeed is a testament to the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of life. From the dawn of life to the complex organisms we are today, the journey has been nothing short of miraculous. Let's take a moment to reflect on the astonishing discoveries we've unpacked today. We delved into the intricate process of primary endosymbiosis, where a eukaryotic algal cell engulfs a prokaryotic bacterial cell. This remarkable event, akin to nature's version of a Russian doll, leads to the evolution of complex life forms. It's a testament to life's tenacity and adaptability, showing us that even at a microscopic level, collaboration is key to survival and progress. Then we explored the birth of a unique cell part, the nitroplast, a result of a similar life-merging event. Identified in 1998, the nitroplast is capable of drawing nitrogen from the atmosphere, a first of its kind. This groundbreaking revelation has expanded our understanding of cellular biology, adding a new chapter to the story of life's evolution. The significance of the nitroplast extends beyond its nitrogen-drawing capabilities. Like other organelles, it replicates and is inherited, solidifying its status as a critical component of cell machinery. This discovery sheds light on the dependence of organelles on host cells for survival, drawing parallels with mitochondria and chloroplasts. As we journey through the microscopic world, these findings have profound implications on our understanding of evolution and cellular biology. They challenge our perceptions, 